Hello guys, uh, so we're back. Another video, another meal. Um, so today we're gonna make a toad in the hole, a little bit different, uh, with some Hasselback potatoes and some nice delicious root vegetables. Uh, so we'll start with the Hasselback potatoes. Sort of smallish jack of potatoes here. You wanna take two wooden spoons if you've got them, and put the potatoes in between the two handles, like that. And then you're gonna slice thinly down to each handle. So you just leave a little bit at the bottom uh, that's still attached. So, when your potatoes are all sliced, they should all sort of open up like the leaves of a book. Okay, and then, along with the spoons, take a tray, open them all up, like so. Take some oil, I've got some rapeseed oil here. Come over the top, little drizzle. Don't need much. And then we've got some salt and pepper. A bit of seasoning on both. And then just open them up again and just sort of rub the oil and the seasoning into the middle of each layer. And then when these cook, it should take about 45 minutes or so. They'll open up and uh, it'll be nice and crispy. And we'll pop these into the oven. The oven's on <clears throat> about 200 degrees. We'll pop them in. <clears throat> They're on the bottom shelf. So next, we're gonna get ready with the sausages. But a little bit different. We're gonna wrap each sausage in some streaky bacon. So, take your favorite sausages and your favorite bacon and just wrap away. So like a big pig in a blanket. When they're all done, you want to take a pan. Medium heat. Take your pan. Again, a little bit of oil. Not too much. So we're just going to bring the oil up to heat. Want to quite warm the pan and then we're going to put in the sausages wrapped in the bacon and just seal them off in the pan and then we're going to keep that pan for later. So pop them in. We just want to give them a little bit of colour. Whilst they're in there, if you take an onion, peel an onion, You can, then we're going to chop the onion quite chunky and chuck them in there as well. You can see I've got some big wedges. Do you want to keep turning the sausages so they get nice and brown? And also chuck in the onion. We're going to season all of this with some salt and pepper as well. <coughs> Just keep turning the sausages, mix it in the onion, and you're going to get lots of flavour on the bottom of that pan. Okay, so once your sausages are all sealed off and the onions, chuck them into the dish that you're gonna make your toad in the hole in. We've got four sausages, there's a couple each, and they put the onions in the dish as well. Don't need any oil, it's a non-stick dish, so it should be fine. And the pan, if you check inside the pan, 
Soil of lots of nice and tasty bits of bacon and onion. We're going to save this pan for later. For now, we're going to get these sausages into the oven as well. So whilst the sausages are in the oven cooking, got a pan of water on, uh, ready to come up to the boil to cook some vegetables. I've got a bowl here, we're going to make our Yorkshire pudding batter. Um, sometimes people are really good at these, sometimes people fail. Um, rule of thumb for sort of every kitchen I've worked in, um, it's the same volume of milk, flour and eggs. Um, so don't do weight, but you can use any cup really. Um, I'm using about three quarters of a cup of each. Uh, so we've got three quarters of a cup of flour and three quarters of a cup of milk. Whisk them all together first. The reason you just do the milk and the flour first is to get out the lumps. When you put the eggs in, then it becomes really hard to get the lumps out. So give it a good whisk. Once that's done, pop in the same volume of eggs, so three quarters of a cup of eggs, pop them in and give that a whisk up as well. So once that's all mixed in, a bit more seasoning. Just save that for when we need it. Okay, so we're going to crack on with the root vegetables. This meal is just for two people, uh, so I've got two parsnips, two carrots. So we're just going to peel those. Get rid of all the peelings. So you can cut the vegetables however you feel really. Whichever was your favorite way, that's how you do it. I'm gonna do mine sort of the full length of the carrot and the parsnip. I'm just gonna cut my carrots into quarters, long ways. So we have something Looks like that, long battens. And I'm going to pop those in the water straight away because they'll take a bit longer than the pasta to cook. So they're in. There's a general rule of thumb for vegetables. Um, anything that grows above the ground, so like broccoli, peas, cabbage, beans, that sort of stuff, typically cooked in boiling water. Anything under the ground, carrots, parsnips, celeriac, swede, all the root vegetables can all be cooked uh, in cold water and brought up to the boil and cooked that way. It's just a general rule of thumb. I've put my roots in boiling water today, but you don't need to. So, we'll move on with the parsnips. I'm going to prep them the same way as I've done the carrots. Cut them down into quarters long ways. So with a parsnip, you get like a woody bit in the middle of the centre. Some people leave it in, they don't mind it. I prefer to cut it out. Um, it can be a bit woody. So we'll just cut this out and you can use a pair of knife if you're comfortable on a board, do it on a board. I'm just going to do it in my hands and it will come out fairly easy. So parsnips are all prepped, I'm going to chuck them in with the water with the carrots and just let those cook out. Okay so I just checked on the sausages and the potatoes. See, I can show you, the potatoes are just starting to open up a little bit which is perfect. Mine look a little bit dry though. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil on. And that will go down into the middle of each each little slice. Be dead tasty. I'm gonna pop those in. Sausages are also ready, so I'm gonna pull those out. So the sausages are out, they're nearly cooked, the onions are nice and soft, you got all the flavour from the bacon, the sausages and the onions in that pan. We're gonna pour in the batter mix and then we're gonna pop it back into the oven and not open it again until that's ready. So Pour it round as evenly as you can. 
like that. Just pop that back into the oven. Okay, so once the vegetables are cooked to how you like them, uh, I like mine with a bit of crunch, but if you like them softer, leave them a bit longer. But once they're done, tip them through a colander, strain them off, and just keep the vegetables in a colander. Uh, and we'll come back to them when we're nearly ready to plate up. Okay, so the Yorkshire is rising really nicely. Uh, we're now going to finish the carrots and the parsnips. Um, and this is where the pan that we seal the sausages in comes into play. So, still full of bacon and onion crusty bits, which is dead tasty. I'm going to pop that on. We're going to heat that a little bit and then we just need to deglaze the pan. Um, you can do it with water, it's not a problem. Um, if you've got a bottle of wine open, just a splash of wine. I'm going to use just a splash of uh, vinegar in mine. Heating up nice. Just going to take a splash, white wine vinegar, don't need much at all, you can hear it sizzle and that will be enough just to bring off all the flavours from the bottom of the pan. And then in the pan I'm going to chuck a knob of butter, chuck that in, I'm going to chuck in just about half a teaspoon of whole grain mustard and a squeeze of honey. There we go. Just give all that a mix in together. And everything will come together. All the flavours will come off the bottom of the pan. And once the butter is melted, turn the heat down and then slide in your vegetables. A little bit of salt and pepper. All the vegetables now coated delicious in the honey, the mustard, and all the bacon and onion goodness from the pan. And you can see Nicely coated in the mustard, the honey, all the bits from the bottom. Dead of the pan. tasty. Okay, guys, so the toad in the hole is looking done now. I'm gonna take that out, I'm gonna plate that with the vegetables, and then at the last second, I'm gonna take the potatoes out, pop them on the plate, serve with your favourite gravy. Okay, so here is the toad in the hole. Nice and light and crispy on the outside, doughy between the sausages, perfect toad in the hole. I'm gonna get this plated. There we go guys, there we have it. Toad in the hole, sausages wrapped in bacon, the bacon's dead crispy. Some delicious root vegetables with honey and mustard, and then a Hasselback potato, and just pour over your favorite gravy to finish. Look out for another video, and uh, oh, excuse the hair, but we'll be back soon. Enjoy.